Hey guys, what's going on? I am with Samsung Display here at CES 2025, and we're checking out what's usually my favorite thing at the show every year. Unlike a lot of the things that you've been seeing on the channel this week, these aren't things that you're gonna actually be able to buy, but they are giving us a glimpse at what your smartphones of the future are inevitably gonna look like. We got flexibles, we got foldables, we got rollables, we got all that good stuff, so let's go check it out. Okay, let's start right over here with the Slidable Flex Duet. It grows from an 8.1 inch display to a 12.4 inch display. And that's really all we can see it doing right now. And I'm not gonna lie, that hinge mechanism is pretty noisy. Can you hear that? See, we've seen some iterations of this before, but I guess the concept is like you'd be going from an iPad mini to a fuller size iPad. This is more of a tablet than a smartphone, but hey, I could see myself using a smartphone this big. We just gotta work on the sound right there. Mm. Moving right over to what Samsung Display is calling the Flex S. We've been seeing more form factors like this come out. I think Huawei actually has one on the market, but it's essentially a tri-fold screen. Bends all the way this way. I do see a lot of practicality in a concept like this, but one thing that would need to change is how heavy that phone was. My arms are tired just from holding it up for a few minutes right there. Now we're looking at a true tablet. This concept's name is the Slidable Flex Solo. It starts at a 13.0 inch display and grows this way to a 17.3 inch display. I think that the rolling is a lot smoother here. This looks very polished. The display looks nice and bright. I'm seeing it in this blue finish right now. I don't know, could this be your next tablet? Okay, we have one last phone concept right here. Although I don't know if you could call this a phone with how wide the screen gets here. This is currently called the Flex G and it's similar to the tri-fold that we looked at earlier, but the sides fold in rather than out. And the idea is that you can grow uh, your, you know, what could be a smartphone size display to three wide and be able to multitask with these apps. This is really telling the story of AI applications in Samsung's displays concepts because you're thinking about how can your phone be smarter? How can it take advantage of some of the display innovations, but then put them in ways that we can, you know, be looking at our photos, editing them here, posting them live all in one. I need something like this for sure. Let me show you one last thing. I'm probably more amused by this than I should be, but this is a concept stretchable micro LED display. Now, micro LED TVs aren't even a thing yet, so we're probably a long way from a micro LED phone, let alone one that can actually bend. Or think about if this was like a large screen, a TV that can actually stretch out to show some texture that's happening in whatever scene you're watching. It's very subtle here, but if you come over, it's a little side view you can see the Las Vegas sphere protruding from the screen and then it goes back down. The display is able to manage that stretch without taking damage, that's really the key here. So I think this is a great place to finish with a robot dog stomping on Samsung foldable displays. You know, with foldable adoption, people are still worried about durability. Am I gonna buy an expensive phone and is it gonna break? This is basically Samsung Display's way of saying that shouldn't be a problem. I'm super interested to know which of these concepts you think is the coolest, but more importantly, down in the comments, guess which concept I like the best. I don't know if I was giving it away, so I wanna see if you guess right. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me a bit. I know we got a lot going on at CES, so make sure you check out all the other videos in this playlist. That's it for me. I'll catch you next time.